Give me five minutes and I'll tell you all you need to know about how to mount your weather station the right way the first time. Placement is everything to accurate weather measurement. I've noticed dramatic changes in accuracy just by moving the sensor suite a few feet within our yard or even just placing the sensor higher. Through trial and error, I've learned a lot over the years, and here's what you need to know. Let's start with the most important part first. Where should you put your station? Note the locations of any tall objects such as trees and buildings. You're looking for a spot with as much distance in all directions from any obstructions. Do your best here, and in smaller yards, you may need to make some compromises. We've had to ourselves. What should you use for a mount? The most common mounting poles are PVC, wood, or metal. Each has its advantages and disadvantages. PVC is the cheapest and great in a pinch, but flexes in higher widths. Wood has more stability and is better for permanent installations, but will deteriorate with time. We recommend purchasing a metal mast, even though it's the most expensive option. While weather station mounts do exist, an antenna mast works just fine. Important, check your owner's manual to make sure you have the correct mast size. A majority of home weather stations use a one and one quarter inch mast, but not all. The most notable example being the WS4000 and EcoWit Whitboard. Raising your mount to the appropriate height is next, which should be no higher than six feet or two meters, the average height of an adult male. Anywhere between four and six feet off the ground is acceptable though. If you want more accurate wind readings, your anemometer should be as high as possible. If you didn't know, wind measurements are actually taken at a height of 33 feet, which most won't be able to do unless you're mounting off the side of a two-story home, but 10 to 20 feet off the ground will be good enough. Finally, make sure your mount is stable. If you're using a short mast, as long as the base is stable, the mast will be too. However, the taller your mast is, the more susceptible it is to sway and vibration. In higher winds, this may cause inaccurate readings. Add guy wires to secure the mass, which will limit movement. Now that we covered the basics, we have a few more recommendations on mounts to consider. While most of these suggestions are manufactured by ambient weather, there are others. We recommend ambients as they are specifically made for weather stations. The Ambient Weather EZ48 Weather Station Tripod and Mass Assembly is a great mount, and we actually have two. One for a permanent weather station setup, and another for our test stations. If you're mounting on the ground, purchase the optional ground stakes. The mount is extremely stable, and you can add mass extensions to get your station higher. However, not everybody has the money for that, so if you're on a tight budget, the Manish Universal J-Pipe Adjustable Mount is a great option. A nice feature is that you can mount this on a flat or angled surface without an issue. We've heard great things from readers on this mount, which is why we're recommending it as a top budget pick. The next three options are for different mounting scenarios. The Ambient Weather Stable Gable Mounting Kit with Mass is intended to give you an option to mount your station off the side of your house and clear the awning. This might be a good option if getting up on your roof safely is impossible. The Chimney Mounting Kit with Mass allows you to mount your mass to the chimney without needing to drill, while the Heavy Duty Mass to Mass Mounting Kit might be an option if you already have a mast or tower set up for a TV or ham radio antenna. Many will not feel comfortable installing these mounts themselves for safety reasons. The best thing to do here is call an antenna installer, but do keep in mind install could be costly. In any case, be smart about when, where, and how you're installing your station. We hope this video was helpful and directed you towards an appropriate mount for your particular setup. If you have any questions or tips of your own, share them in the comments. If we helped you out, let me know by giving this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Until next time, Stay weather-wise, everyone.